In this video, I'm going to talk about image maps in HTML. So an image map is an image that has clickable areas. And when the user clicks on one of these areas, the usual behavior is that a different link is opened up depending on which area the user has clicked on. And we'll make an image map with this kitchen.png here. It's got a refrigerator, microwave oven, and electric stove. So to make our image map, we're going to make an image tag, and then we're going to make a map. And we're going to associate that image tag with the map. So first I'll make the image. I'll say IMG for the image tag, SRC for the source attribute, kitchen.png to load up our image, and then we'll give some alt text. We'll just say kitchen. And then here's where I'm going to make the association between this image tag and the map I'm going to define. So I'm going to say use map attribute is equal to pound. And then here I have to give the name of my map. And I'm just going to call mine image dash map. And I'll close that. Now, here's where I'm going to find my map. And when I define my map, I have to use that same name. So I'll say open tag map, name attribute is equal to, and then I'll say image dash map. And then I can close my map tag. Now inside of here, I have to define my different areas and I'm going to use the area tag to do that. And the areas are going to define the parts of the image that I want to make clickable. And I'm also going to define in them what I want to have happen, which in this case is just have a link open up. So if I refresh this, I've got my refrigerator here, microwave oven, electric stove. To make this fridge clickable, let's, let's just say I want to make it open up the Wikipedia article for each one of these things. To make this fridge clickable, what I'm going to have to do is use the area tag to define an area. Now there's three ways you can define an area. You can use a rectangle, a circle, or a polygon, which is sort of something for an arbitrary shape. So this fridge really looks like a rectangle, so I think we're safe to use a rectangle to define it. And We'll, so we'll open up an area tag. We'll say open area is equal to, or area. And then we'll say here shape is equal to rect to define a rectangle shape. And then here I have to give the coordinates of the rectangle, which is sort of like the, the beginning and end position of the rectangle. So I'm going to say going from the top left here to the bottom right here, I'm going to give an XY coordinate for up here and an XY coordinate for down there. So I'll say here chords is equal to 32, 20. 489988 with the commas there separating them. And that's going to go from, you know, 3220 XY position to 49988 XY position in the the bottom right there. And that'll actually define a rectangle now over the fridge. And if I actually were to just save it right now as it is, you can actually see that that area is now clickable in the sense that the the hand is now starting to appear when I try to hover over it. But now I want to define what I want to have happen when somebody clicks on it. So to do that, I'm going to define some link style attributes. So out here I'm going to say href is equal to HTTPS, and we'll open up the Wikipedia article. So I'll say wikipedia.org wiki refrigerator. And I'll say title is equal to refrigerator. Alt is equal to refrigerator. And I'm going to say target is equal to underscore blank. So that way it opens it up in a new page, new tab. So if I refresh this now, it's now clickable. And if I click it on, click on it, it'll open up the refrigerator Wikipedia article. Now, how exactly I knew these coordinates, I'll show you in a sec. Because, you know, I didn't really just guess at it. There's actually some good ways to just sort of figure out exactly what these coordinates are. And I'll show you in a sec because it'll become very necessary when we go to do the polygon shape. But next, let's just show you a circle shape. So I'm going to do a circle shape for the microwave, even though it's not the best fit. So I'll do a circle shape around here, and we'll just show you how that one works. So I can just say here, area shape is equal to, and I'll say circle, and then I'll say chords. This time I'm going to give an XY position for the center of the circle and a radius of the circle. So I'm going to say 751, 163, 152. And that's giving me like a position for the circle around here with a radius going up to about here. And it's going to kind of encircle the circle, the, the microwave there. And again, I'll give some link style attributes for the link behavior. So I'll say English wikipedia.org and we'll link to the microwave oven article. So we'll say slash microwave underscore oven. And then we'll say title is equal to microwave oven. And I'll say alt is equal to microwave oven. And then I'll say target is equal to blank. Save this, refresh. If I hover over this area, you can see it's 
now a clickable area because the microwave oven title just popped up. And if I click on it, it opens up the Wikipedia article on microwave ovens. And that's got a, a circle shape to it there, which you can see there. So it's got a nice circle shape to it here. It doesn't totally fit. We probably wouldn't want to normally use a circle for the microwave oven. What's going to become impossible to fit is this stove here. Because if you look at this, even a rectangle wouldn't really do a good job here. Because if we put a rectangle around the whole thing, like from here up to here, say, you have this area here of white space and this area over here of white space that you wouldn't want really to be clickable because that's not really part of the, the electric uh, stove there. And so what we're going to do is we're going to actually use a tool to help us generate an area map because that's going to really help us because what we're going to have to do is use the polygon shape to actually draw a very accurate set of points that encapsulate and define this electric stove here. And a tool like that, a tool like this becomes sort of necessary at this point to really do it accurately. And there's a bunch of free ones available online. This one here, this image-map.net, I've had good luck with this. It seems fine to me, but there's a whole bunch of other free ones online as well. Uh, but we'll select an image. We'll pick our kitchen image. And these tools are generally pretty, pretty similar. But what they do is they give you a, a set of user interface elements that you can use to define and draw the shapes on this image. So that way you can get this image map that's actually predefined for you. So let's just actually define some of these things that we've already done. We'll do a rectangle shape. And I'll so right here it says rect, link is this, title is this, target is this. Let's actually draw the rectangle on there. So we'll just do this. We'll say this, start this here. Oops, draw this here. That'll give us our rectangle shape for the fridge there. And I'll just copy this link in here into the link. Title can still be refrigerator. Target can be blank. And then we'll say add new area. And we can do a circle now for the, so we'll, we'll go to active here. We'll pick circle and we'll draw a circle over the microwave. Even though a circle is not the best shape, I'll just show you how like a tool like this can work. So click that, click that. You got your circle there. That's moving the center around. That's going to manipulate the radius. So we kind of move it roughly maybe where we want it. And that's probably, that's good enough for a circle for the microwave, even though it's not a perfect fit. And then we'll do one more. We'll do one for the, uh, the electric stove there. So we'll just finish this microwave oven first. We'll click at this link here, put it in there. We'll say microwave oven for the title. And then we'll say target blank. And then we'll add one more new area. And this time we'll pick polygon. Now for the polygon, what we're going to actually do is we're actually going to draw the, the, area that we want by clicking the different points. So if we click here to start, click here next, oops, I mean, oh shoot, I didn't have this one on active. That's what I didn't do. So click the active for the polygon now, click this here, click this here, this one next, this one next, this one next, this one next, and you can see what's happening. We're basically drawing a polygon now that's gonna be very accurately covering exactly the area of the stove. And now this blank white space over here and this blank white space over here, they're not gonna be included in the area map if we had done like a sort of coarse grained rectangle around the whole thing. So for polygon here or for this uh, electric stove here, I'll do the same thing. I'll do a Wikipedia article here and I'll just say electric stove then instead. So I'll say electric underscore stove, electric stove. And then what we can do is we scroll down here, we say, show me the code. What it'll do is it'll give us this image map code that we can now use. So if I were to copy this in into here, you'll see what it's giving me. It's giving me the, re the refrigerator microwave oven. Those are going to look a lot like what we just had. You've got coordinates here, roughly the same spots, rectangle and circle. But if you look at the polygon shape here for the electric stove, the attribute here is shape poly. And you got this whole series of X and Y coordinates here. And what this is, is like, that's an X and Y coordinate that is connected to this X and Y coordinate that is connected to this X and Y coordinate that is connected to this X and Y coordinate and so on until you get back to the original one and until it wraps around back to the original one. And altogether then that's going to give you this, this shape here. And that's what it actually looks like. Now, I mean, you can do that manually, but the usual thing to do would be to use some kind of a tool like this to define a shape that accurate. But uh, with what I've got here, we should be okay now. I didn't uh, pick blank target for that last one, so I'll just fix that manually. But if I refresh this now, 
I should be able to, if I click here, nothing happens. If I click here, nothing happens. But if I click here, it's going to open up the article on electric stove. Same thing for the microwave. Same thing for the refrigerator. And that's just uh, the essentials of image maps in HTML. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers.